of course it can. Uh, there are different ways of doing it. And if we start from the beginning, if we understand the customer and the operations, we understand the limitations, we understand the targets and the objectives that the customer have, there is almost always room for some kind of improvement. And there are different ways of doing this. One simple or let's say a quick win is to minimize the waste. And we can do that in different ways. So when you have a new liner, you can wire it down to a certain point where it becomes too smooth to actually promote the right charge motion in the mill. But there is always some excess material left at the end. And when we replace the liners, we're just throwing this away. So if we can minimize the sort of the leftovers and, and make sure that the lining is as thin as possible when we replace it, that's a really good way of saving material. Another way of doing this is obviously to make the liner last longer, because if it lasts longer, then we don't have to throw away this excess material as often. So it's almost a one-to-one -one win. I mean, if we save one kilo of rubber or steel or whatever material we use, there is a direct reduction in CO footprint. On top of this, obviously there is less manufacturing, less transportation, less installation, and all of those are wins. It's on the positive side. The way to make sure what to do is to do wire monitoring. So by monitoring how the liner wears and how, how it changes in profile over time, it allows us to see how we best can utilize the material. So we can maybe move material from a low wear area to high wear area and increase the utilization of everything. And that's also a way to save. You can optimize the lining in different ways. And if we can optimize it for increased efficiency, then that means that we will spend less energy per produced ton. And then obviously we can also optimize the entire grinding circuit or even go for a larger scope.